All right, so we have already spoke about that there are two different branches which are there. One is from the official page of the Cloudburst and one is from the Harshad Gupta's uh, uh, project page and uh, the branch name is the improved. So whatever the example I'm going to consider from now onwards or whatever the code I'm going to consider from now onwards will be from the uh, Harshad Gupta's improved branch. So I've actually made a clear cut uh, no, notation here. So uh, I this FoxM Harshad improve is basically the branch which I'm going to you know, utilize over here. So it's a code from that same branch of improve, whereas the simple IFOX sim is basically, uh, which has been picked up from the Cloudbus uh, page, right? Cloudbus GitHub page. So I'll be referring to this particular project only wherever it is applicable, like a few couple of things are, are uh, deprecated in this Harshit's uh, uh, improve branch. So if they are supposed to be discussed, I'll be discussing it from the IFOX and project. Otherwise the default will be this, uh, uh, this code. So in previous uh, video, if, uh, if you have gone through that, how we can use the GUI to create our particular set of topology. So you got an idea that how we can create the fog devices, uh, the sensors and the actuators and how we can bring them to link to each other with, with certain set of latencies and all that stuff. So here as well, what we are going to uh, see is I'm going to open that particular file again and I'll, I'll be trying to give you a connect between that what is the API which is going to work behind that particular topology when you are going to use it. So let's quickly jump into the code. So we have uh, this uh, set of entities uh, API org.fog.entities it contains couple of uh, classes, right? So we are going to connect these classes to our, our topology. So I'm going to go and run our particular GUI by using this fogGUI.java uh, file and I'm going to run it as Java application. So here is what we have. So I know my topology is here in this particular folder. So I'm going to just look at the path. What exactly is the path for this particular uh, topologies uh, API and I go to the path and open that particular topology. So we were using this sample uh, topo in demo, right? So I'm going to import this particular file and you can see this uh, file is being imported and all the links are being generated. And in the background, you can see the console output has been generated corresponding to putting up that graph on that particular GUI. Now uh, let's understand that how these devices are going to get created within the simulation part, right? So if I talk about this, this particular part, because we are considering this is a fog device, this is a sensor and this is an actuator. So they are the basic icons. So when you talk about the fog devices within this org.fog.entities, you will find that there is a fog device class, right? So if we go and check inside this particular class and uh, we are just only going to look at the uh, particular constructor of that particular fog device. So you can see it's a name, the characteristics, the policy which is going to be provided, the storage list, uh, the scheduling interval and the uh, and the rate per MIPS that is being provided. Whereas for the other part as well, the second uh, set of your uh, particular constructor, you can see that there is a name which has been provided, then for characteristics which are going to be there, then allocation policies, storage list, scheduling intervals, uplink, downlink, uplink latency, rate MIPS, and it is also going to call it super class with the name, characteristics, and all, all those uh, stuffs. So this is how your complete set of uh, fog is being generated. If, if we are going to use this particular topology in a particular example, right? So fog device class, which is available in org.fog.entities is going to resemble this one single node, right? Which is basically a fog device, right? Even though we have considered it as a cloud, we are going to specify in the fog device that it's a cloud, right? It's a top level uh, computing agent, right? Whereas whatever the uh, down level fogs, they will be a simple fog device and that's it. So these black icons with which are resembling a kind of uh, server uh, based icon, right? So they are going to get created by using this particular fog device dot Java, right? So th this is the basic uh, module, uh, which has been model, which has been created corresponding to uh, corresponding to this particular part. Similarly, when you go down, 
and you talk about the sensor right so sensors are basically going to get created through this particular sensor.java class so they are going to have an instance from this right so sensors have a plenty of attributes associated with it and if you look at the uh, particular uh, constructor of this particular sensor you can see it's a name user id app id gateway id that is being given and uh, that means through which fog it is going to get connected then let and see geolocation if if you are going to provide it what would be the transmission uh, transmit distribution uh, right then cpu length that how much uh, set of uh, uh, instruction or how much it will be the length of the workload which is going to send network length then tuple type de uh, destination module name and the application so all these things are going to get attached to this particular sensor right so sensor is kind of intelligent he this knows uh, this this model knows that where to send the request for uh, for for whatever the sensing has been done from the environment and how it will going to get processed through the application and, and then what could be the further thing is, which is to be followed through the modules and all that stuff so we will be discussing all those things uh, later on but keep in mind whenever we are creating some sensor in this particular topology and when this particular topology goes into the simulation this is the class instance which uh, this is the class from where the instance of this particular sensor is going to get initiated right so if you see we can have we have there are four different variations for this sensor uh, constructor so we can have different kind of options uh, uh, entered into this particular instance now next is actuator right because sensor is going to sense some information from the environment it will going it will go to the uh, fo immediate fog right immediate fog device if it can be processed over here then well and good the actuator will be sent the instructions to perform a basic operation corresponding to what the sensor has sensed otherwise the uh, if, if the processing is not available on this fog device it will go to gateway and maybe it go to the uh, cloud as well right so this is what is the basic hierarchy how how your ifog also works around okay so the actuator when you talk about the actuator for actuator we have a class here which is named as the actuator and it ha again has certain set of attributes associated with it and it also has its own set of uh, you know constructor right so whenever an actuator will be created during the simulation that means the instance of this actuator class is going to work around for you what uh, attributes it is going to look for name user id app id gateway id latency geolocation actuator type and the source module name right so apart from this there are, there are other variations as well but uh, uh, this is the most uh, you know intensive uh, attribution which has been done for this particular uh, set of instance if we create from the actuator right so actuator fog device and sensor so these are the three different uh, basic classes which are going to get used whenever this topology is going to get into the action during the simulation of your example right so just to give you an idea because we are using the improved branch of Harshit Gupta so we have to go here org.fog.examples and I'm going to go inside the example one right so within the example one I'm just directly skipping to the create fog device right uh, or in fact create topology is the best so this create topology if you uh, if you consider what topology it is going to define this is what uh, is being given by the Harshad Gupta at the top of each example that uh, the particular infrastructure should should be looking like this there will be a, a central switch uh, uh, there will be a switch which is going to get connected to the fog device one there is a there will be another switch which is going to get connected to the uh, fog device uh, zero and uh, both these switches are going to get connected with each other and then they have their dev uh, branch to the sensor and uh, to, uh, to the switch and then the sensor and the actuator are going to get connected to that so this is where where the actual request is going to work around and then it will be sent towards the other path so if we go and look at the create physical topology method what you can see is that there are two fog devices which are being created by using the fog device uh, instance right so ft1 is going to be instance of fog device and from where this create fog device is going to work so once you go inside this particular create fog device you can see that all the set of you know uh, required compute capacity storage capacity bandwidth capacity everything has been is being provided over here right so bringing you back 
so we wanted to have a connection so a switch has been generated over here so switch has been created right and that switch is going to get connected to the end device right so we have a end device correspondingly okay and then the transmission intervals are being given and and the sensors and actuators are being created and they are being added to the list so these fog devices are also on the similar node added to the fog devices list so we have sensor list we have actuator list and we have the fog devices list and then the fog devices are going to get connected to the uh, to each other by using the add link method from this particular instance right so we'll be discussing about this particular example in very much detail but i just wanted to show you that whenever you create this particular topology uh, it will be saved into a particular json file and that json file can be read into a particular example and then on the basis of that you can actually create the intended fog devices and the intended sensors and the intermediate devices so that you can connect them together by using the uh, add add link uh, method which has been provided for the physical topology and then you can also validate that okay all my components are being connected or not okay so this is what is there in this particular improved branch in fact it is also available in the in the basic branch as well but uh, there are certain differences in the way how this this uh, code is going to get worked around okay so uh, this is the way how your topology is going to get simulated by the example using the specific set of model classes to produce their behavior and the simulation results so that is it for this particular part so i hope you uh, might able to connect some more dots now that how your physical topology is actually going to get created or initiated during the simulation process